February 6, 2020. Renowned British cosmologist Professor Monica Grady, CBE, made a surprising claim through Phys.org, a science, research, and technology news website. She said living beings with intelligence similar to or even higher than octopuses exist on Jupiter's moon Europa. Europa is one of the four moons orbiting Jupiter discovered by astronomer Galileo Galilei in 1610. It has a mean radius of 1,560 kilometers, slightly smaller than our moon, and is located 627 million kilometers away from Earth. Its surface is covered with a 20 to 30 kilometer thick layer of ice, and the average temperature reaches negative 171 degrees Celsius, thus making it look like an extreme star where life cannot exist. However, thanks to equipment such as the Hubble Space Telescope, a surprising fact was discovered a vast ocean exists beneath the thick layer of ice on Europa. The ice acts as a protective barrier against both solar radiation and asteroid impact. It serves as an incubator. The ocean beneath Europa's ice sheet is about twice as wide and 10 times deeper than Earth. The water temperature is approximately zero degrees Celsius, similar to or slightly warmer than the Arctic Ocean floor. The elements are similar to that of the Earth as well. We are certain that life exists in this ocean. There has been a long-standing debate over the possibility of extraterrestrial life existing on Europa. A vast amount of research has been performed since the late 1990s, and each time new evidence discovered, thus supporting the hypothesis that Europa does have a suitable environment for the emergence of life. In 2019, a team of researchers from the California Institute of Technology in the U.S. revealed that just like on Earth, a large amount of sodium chloride, commonly known as salt, is dissolved in the ocean of Europa. This suggested that Europa's ocean floor bears a closer resemblance to Earth's ocean than we previously thought. In 2021, NASA announced that activity from a cryovolcano had been observed on Europa's ocean floor, and that living beings in the ocean are highly likely to receive chemical energy, enabling them to engage in life activities. Other research suggests that a living system may have formed in the ocean beneath the ice sheet. We can draw an image of Europa by combining data collected so far by NASA's space probes, such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and Galileo. Europa's surface is covered with a smooth layer of ice, with discernible dome-shaped peaks and pits. Sometimes a 200-kilometer water column, 20 times as high as Mount Everest, emerges as well. If you go through the ice sheet, the deep, dark ocean with a depth of 100 kilometers endlessly continues. Using the fact that the Mariana Trench, the deepest oceanic trench on Earth, is 11 kilometers in depth, we can estimate the depth of Europa's ocean. No sunlight can reach Europa's ocean floor, as it is surrounded by thick ice. Such an environment makes it impossible for a photosynthesis-based general ecosystem to be formed. However, that does not mean living beings do not exist there. For example, there are plenty of living beings on Earth that live their whole lives in the ocean without photosynthesis. The scientific community presumed that hydrothermal vents would replace the role of the sun by creating an environment where living beings can reproduce. A hydrothermal vent is a fissure on the ocean floor from which geothermally heated water discharges. Just like how the ocean ecosystem on Earth is formed around these craters, Europa's ocean also has microorganisms that use heat and chemicals from the hydrothermal vents for reproduction. It is presumed that the living beings that feed on those microorganisms form a complex ecosystem. Presently, the number of species as well as the size of the living beings are still uncertain. However, it is clear that the ocean is an environment that is favorable to the birth and evolution of living things. This is why many scientists, including Professor Grady, are convinced that living beings with intelligence similar to an octopus exist. By the way, the intelligence of an octopus is much higher than we think. Octopuses are said to be the most intelligent invertebrates, with humans as their vertebrate counterpart. In terms of human intelligence, octopuses have been found to have the intelligence of humans aged 4 through 5, with a higher number of genes compared to humans. For this reason, scholars consider octopuses as the animals that will evolve and rule the Earth following the fall of humankind. Europa is one of the most likely locations in the solar system for potential habitability. Aside from Earth, its imaginative environment, often used as a background in sci-fi novels and movies, could be the reason why. Europa Report, a movie released in 2013, is an example. Filmed as a fake documentary, this movie centers around an exploration team that is sent to prove that living beings indeed exist on Europa. There, they encounter an unidentified mysterious being as they explore the ocean beneath the ice sheet. The process of launching the space probe, as well as the exploration on Jupiter's moon, are especially realistic. This was the case because Professor Grady both advised the film and was in charge of both the film production. I recreated the view of Europa based on research and the discovered so far. We may consider this movie as part of the science fiction genre, but it will soon become reality and no longer be fiction. If living beings exist on a planet consisting only of ocean, just as the professor claims, 
it is highly likely that they have evolved into a form optimized for underwater life. They would breathe with gills, not lungs, and have developed fins instead of fingers and toes. Their form would be similar to marine animals such as octopuses and whales. American sci-fi authors have long called the intelligent beings of Europa, Europi. These authors also included their own predictions in their books, such as how the living beings have reached a certain level of intelligence, and how they formed an underwater civilization. Among the sci-fi novels Larry Niven and Edward M. Lerner's Fleet of Worlds, published in 2007, is especially impressive. The story is set in space. There is a moon orbiting a giant gas planet, and although there is no atmosphere, a vast ocean exists beneath the surface that is covered with ice. The setting is the exact same as Europa. On this fictional moon, there are intelligent beings that evolved underwater. They invented special protective clothing that enables them to breathe on the surface for hundreds of years. Going through the ice, they rise to the vacuum world, where they build structures with ice and stone, and eventually establish a civilization there. Who knows? Maybe in the distant future, there will be a day when we are able to see Europines breaking through the ice and rising to the surface. Thanks to technological developments, the day where we will be able to confirm the existence of living beings on Europa with our own two eyes is approaching. Europa Clipper, an exploration project joint promoted by NASA and Elon Musk's SpaceX, has already started. The space probe will carry as many 12-centimeter cryobots as possible. The research team plans to investigate how the cryobots can drill through the ice sheet, just like an ant colony digging into a loaf of bread. If all goes as planned, the space probe will be launched in October 2024 and arrive in Jupiter's orbit in April 2030. It will then perform in-depth research on Europa for four years. What will be discovered in Europa's ocean on the day of full-scale exploration? Just like the Earth, Europa has billions of years of history. This is enough time for complex organisms to evolve into higher life forms. There are species on Europa that have had the opportunity to evolve just the same as humankind. This has been Strange Night.